Hey everybody, welcome to the Carriage Play of Suicone 5. Exciting new time for us? I was about to say exciting. Oh, huh, just exciting is on the brain. Just to look exc- exciting uh, and then an exclamation mark. Hmm. So this is, ooh, character naming screen. <laughs> Biff. <laughs> As always, in honor and of the carriageway tradition, I was going to name them carriage for some reason. Carrie! 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 Okay. <laughs> you know what I don't get? You know what I don't get about this? Y'all hear about this? You it's know like, what I don't get about it? How are, we do- how are we doing this Let's Play when you are in India? Um, well, I I just keep flying back and forth every week. God, that's it's so yeah. expensive, man. And it's pretty exhausting on the system, truly. And boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, right. Fast stereo BGM S- SFX voice volume vibration on, of course. On a battle random hero's voice. This is a weird thing that you can change the hero's voice. Uh, voice A. Uh, man, I, man, I love that Beastie Boys song. <laughs> 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 Star game. Dips on George Prime. Georg. 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 I hope you do the Swedish voice for him. <laughs> well, he has a voice actor, so I'll oh. try to be <laughs> mimicking him. Prince, there it is, Sophalina. Wow, Joe, your voice acting's gotten a lot better. I forgot that this game had voice acting. Title reveal. It's kind of a weird spot for a title reveal. I, you know, it doesn't offend me. Leo, no, it doesn't. You must feel like your burden's been lifted a little, huh? But Lady Saya leads. I've never once thought being the prince's bodyguard was any kind of burden. Whether in the imperial capital or away, I'll always gladly do whatever it takes to protect the prince. Being a bodyguard. Yeah, Sun's like gone supernova. Baby. Sure you don't overprotect him. I'm not babysitting anyone, George. And even if I was, so long as the prince is safe, that's all that matters. <laughs> Isn't my nephew a lucky boy then? Sure is. Do you remember how cool oh, George was in uh, Sukun 2? What? So cool. When we get back to Sokun, they have an eye patch. Watch how you talk. Be polite and use the proper forms of address, okay? You know you are ever so right, Leon. George may have forgotten, but I am the younger sister of our glorious queen. One's language must always reflect one's social standing. Wouldn't you agree, Sir George Prime of the Queen's Knights? Oh, shut up, Silides. <laughs> hmm. How dare you address royalty that way? Well, that's the George we all know and love, so he can get away with it when it's just the three of us. But if Her Majesty hears a Queen's Knight addressing the Prince improperly, there will be trouble, George. And think of Farid, too. After all, he's the one who recommended you to the Queen's Knights in the first place. Huh. Don't worry. I'm used to court service, you know. I can take care of myself. But geez, lighten up. I thought the Queendom of Felena had more of a laid-back reputation than this. Is George wearing a fishnet tank top underneath his kimono cloak thing? I think it's laid back enough. But even I'm afraid of my own. I don't think Silides is. We really can't afford to make our stop mad. Silage is two steps away from a wardrobe malfunction. But I wasn't looking. <laughs> of course not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't want to interrupt any of the exposition. Just, this is laid back playthrough. Saturday morning. But isn't this kind of a pathetic welcome for the Queen's sister and the Prince? Yeah, well, what else can you expect? In Felena, male royalty aren't in line for the throne, so they aren't very important. And neither am I. But 
Are you no, okay? He's nodding off. Yeah, like, well, <laughs> sorry, <I'm> like, <laughs> so tired. He's like, I thought I thought these Let's Players were gonna talk over this. Uh, wow. Yeah, a lot of dudes in the the hull of that boat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then, uh, like, they're just gonna live in there now, I guess. Maybe they don't come out. Hello. Anything gonna happen? Hi. Oh. His Royal Highness Prince Carey and Lady Silides have returned. Prince Carey, Lady Silides, welcome home. Is this not still you? No, I think it was two different characters. Oh, okay. So, back from Lord Lake, you must be exhausted. How was your trip? Don't even ask. Ugh, I just want to pretend it never happened. Pardon? Just never mind. I I see. Uh huh. Um, in any case, uh, Queen Arshtat is waiting. Is that her name? Yeah, she has a she's a tattoo on her butt. <laughs> <laughs> Arshtat. <laughs> <laughs> Please, if you would, uh, make your way to the Sun Palace. It is very, like, bloomy, you know? Like, everything's, like, very blown out. Yeah. Uh, the little uh, Suicone 2 loading screen kind of vibes. Yeah. Or Suicone 1. Oh. Oh, way to get technical here. There's, We're technical here, character. There is the 12 people who live in town. <laughs> Doorbell just rang. <laughs> hey, that hurts, Dad. Please stop, Father. What's up, Joe? Oh, um, I wonder if that was... Everybody, sorry about that. Uh, the doorbell rung and Joe raced out here like... Like he, uh... Like, my just, like he just ate McDonald's and it really hurt. I was gonna say my pants are on fire, but it amounts to the same. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dad, that hurts. Or, oh. please stop, Father. Uh, so I guess it's like, do we want to call him Dad or Father? Uh, Dad seems natural. And I wish there was like a third option to call him Daddy, but... <laughs> hey, that hurts, Daddy. <laughs> and then like he's like, ooh. This is nothing, my boy. <laughs> Aw. Snaps his neck. <laughs> George, Leon, thank you for seeing the prince home safely. Yes, of course, sire. Your Majesty, Ferret is best husband. Of the Queen's Knights, George Prime, returning to post, sire. George, what in the world did I do to you? <laughs> I don't know. I was told to mind my manners. <laughs> you never were one to listen to other people's advice. So why start now? Hmm. But on second thought, though, a little bit of prudence might be in order while you're back in the Imperial capital. More than a few nobles aren't very happy with you, being a newcomer at all. All right, I'll try to watch it. Wouldn't want to get you in trouble, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thanks, George. Yeah, well, our dad laughs a lot. King Flavor Saver. <laughs> yeah, and he's got like the one earring too. He's such a bro. But your majesty, we uh Sorry, now's not the time. I know what you've all seen, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. Our first priority is to see Her Majesty. I wonder if any of these voice actors are like His went Royal on Highness to be in anything pretty cool. If I had to make a guess, they've been in a bajillion things. Yeah. But all is like guard number seven. 
They're all Steve Bloom. Oh, I've been waiting mm -hmm. for you. Don't be shy now. Come closer. Let me get a good look at you. Back mother. Mother. So then this is like, do we call it mother or majesty? Um. See, like, uh, like how familiar, how close are we to our parents here? Well, we called our dad, dad. And. Hmm. Yeah, like, you know, let's be familiar. I'm back, mother. Oh, my son. I've been so I mean, she seems I like how relieved I am that you're back and really uncomfortable. Like how she's moving, you know? Sialides, thank you for all you've done. I wasn't quite so worried about the prince, knowing that you would be with him. No need to thank me. I love my nephew too, you know. <laughs> and thank you too, George. I'm grateful that you took on this task, hardly worthy of your talents. No thanks necessary, Majesty. Protecting the royal family is my sworn duty as one of the Queen's knights. And you, Leo. Y yes You're doing a fine job as the Prince's bodyguard. Well done. I'm sure the day will soon come when you'll be promoted to a full-fledged Queen's Knight. But, Your Majesty, I already consider it a great honor, one I hardly deserve just to be allowed to be His Royal Highness's bodyguard. <laughs> it is such a great relief to me to know that the Prince is in such good hands. Please continue to take good care of him. Yes, Your Majesty! I can imagine seeing this for the first time and not thinking that any of this was important, but I think it is. Mm -hmm. It's important characterization. What's the matter? Well, that's like one of the... Simply tell me what you witnessed there. Oh. Tell me. Take me back. Can, can we turn down the, the light in here, Mom? Please? <laughs> no. This is the Sun Palace, after all. My eyes are bleeding. Okay, flashback. Whoa. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. One of the most beautiful towns in the Queendom of Felena, known for its pristine waters and lush woods? Damn. I heard it was bad. I never imagined it was this bad, though. Yeah, this is definitely Lord Lake, the town that used to be one of the most beautiful places in the Queendom. Yeah, you, you said it used to be already. You don't need to repeat that. I mean, it's pretty in its own way. Yeah, it's kind of got like a Wild Arms vibe. I mean, it's like kind of like a postcard kind of looking background, pretty much, you know? Yeah, pretty as a postcard. <laughs> Lord Lake. Thank you for traveling such a great distance. My name is Talgil. I've been Talgil. Talgil. Yes. Ever since his lordship passed away. I'm you know, uh, did you know that mom and dad were originally going to name me Talgil? Sadly. But then they played Sukhan Five and thought it would just give me like an old man vibe. Nothing here but scorched dirt and bleary townsfolk. I'm afraid our residents might be rather impolite to you at times. I do hope you can forgive them. If anyone deserves punishment for this... Punish me! Oh! <laughs> Spank me on the fanny! <laughs> I've been a naughty boy, George. <laughs> oh, we get to play. Yeah, okay. Wow. Welcome to Sukhon 5. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. 15 minutes in. Whoa! <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, people probably think you edited that to make that happen. <laughs> like those uh, extreme yeah. let's let's players. Whoa! What? <laughs> that's just that's just a button on the controller to zoom in. Um, are you gonna talk to Talgil? Oh, what? Well, sure. <laughs> Gotta test out every button first. Testy. 
I'm afraid our residents might be rather impolite to you at times. I do hope you forgive them. If anyone deserves punishment for this, it's me. Spank me on the tushy. <laughs> and this Spank guy really me. wants punishment. Spank me. <laughs> I need to be punished. <laughs> Yeah, it's a different perspective, uh, like a three quarters, um, almost like a PC RPG perspective. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can't. Ooh. You can also do that with the joystick. Hey, neat. My friend had to go to the clinic. Bad tummy trouble. But that was weeks ago. What happened? What's wrong? When they opened up the Taco Bell here <laughs> at Lord Lake. It used to be so moist, but now it's so dry. The food. Taco Bell? Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha, gotcha. I always dreamed of having a big family after I got married. Maybe it's time I gave up on that dream. I hate my son. <laughs> <laughs> you silly little hat. Your Highness, please, you must tell the Queen! We weren't trying to revolt! Nothing of the kind! We swear it! So, like, we don't, we don't know yet why it's so dry, but, like, this guy, like, Thinks the queen needs somehow to, yeah. needs to know. We only wanted to make our voices heard. Somehow it simply spun out of control. <laughs> so somehow it's related to. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> a protest. Some sort of protest. They ask me every day, and I tell them the same thing. We're out of medicine, out of antidote, out of everything. Why are you standing out there? Ooh. I'm gonna break your pot. Oh, you can talk to Leon. Oh, that's right. This is terrible, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first for a Suicon. You can just turn around and talk to one of your party members. If we all toe the line and work hard, the Queen will have to forgive us eventually. We just have to stay strong. Yeah, so uh, all bright and cheery here in Lord Lake. Kind of uh, looks like... Uh, shout out Destiny. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit. Another Konami game. Go ahead. Look at what our glorious queen did. Does it just look like Destiny to you? Uh, no. <laughs> huh. Can I steal your money? 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 More money? Oh, fun fact about this game. It was developed by uh, Hudson Soft, uh, who developed... Um, the Mario Party games. <laughs> oh, and they share assets, don't they? I think they share some assets. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. It's too hot. My dummy words. Are you all right? Hey, hey, wake up. Talk to me. Talk to me. A doctor, but I thought... Feet royals, hmm. <laughs> Females. <laughs> Royals, huh? Um, uh, don't tell me you came all the way down here just to shut me down. Shut me down. Oh. Is this the female doctor? Yes. Oh, right. You're the royal inspection party, not the Mario party. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, how do you like it, enjoying all that scorched earth? That's some welcome. What? <laughs> that's some welcome. Uh, I think that's snarky. That is do we some want, welcome. Do we want to be snarky to this woman who is a doctor in this like shitty little town? <laughs> of course, we're the prince. We're going to be like a Joffrey kind of role play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, who are you? Oh, come on. Just because... I, I, I'm losing the voice here. I, I didn't even you, like it. Okay. Oh, come on. Just because these people ne never see a doctor doesn't mean you never have. Now either arrest me or get the hell out. Did we do something wrong? You mean besides all this? You're upsetting my patience. Think they're happy to see you? They're weak enough as it is, and you being here is not helping. I I see. All right, then. Let's go. Sorry to bother you, miss. Just forget it. 
Oh, the Jan Pinta a lot bow. of a lot of good animation moments, like very subtle. Yeah, even though it's like a bad looking PS2 game, like there still is a lot of heart. Yeah, they care. They carry. They care. They care. I really <laughs> He don't want to know what happened to the last guy who used those blankets. Um. Oh God! I hope it's urine. <laughs> yeah, don't bring a black light. This is terrible. Uh, is that a bunch of like Kleenexes? What paper? Yes. 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 I hope it's not paper. <laughs> Hmm. Like one of the coolest parts about Suicone games is exploring around like just and like there will be a lot of like cameos essentially of like characters you can recruit later and it's like oh what are you doing here? Also I don't think we said this before this is a prequel uh, to Suicone 2 and, and Suicone 1 for that matter. Um, yeah it takes place uh, sometime before uh, George from Suicone 2 which some of you may remember, uh, that super duper tough, strong, cool guy uh, is is young. A here. younger super super tough, cool, strong, cool guy. What is this? Some kind of road? No, not unless they sail down roads around here. This used to be a canal filled with beautiful sparkling water. And it dried up so fast, they didn't even have time to move their boats? Man. Boats, man. Hmm. Chicks, man. So, you know, it uh, is setting up um, maybe some sort of uh, mysterious force in this universe that could completely evaporate. Well, it. what I was thinking was like, like a bunch of like miners came in here and like effed up the town, you know, like maybe it's all just pollution. Hey, young people are all right, man. Oh, that kind of miner. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh huh. Talk to me. It's also like Resident Evil 4 vibes. I thought Queen Arstet was different from all those other monarchs. Wise and kind and all that. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck. You weren't there when it happened, man. You'll never know that kind of terror, man. And we'll never forget it, man. And all this from the rune that's supposed to bring peace, man. Putui. So, that kind of answered. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, runes, if you remember from Suicune 2, are the sort of magic uh, tattoos. Magic missile. They're sort of magic tattoos. But, like, can you imagine a Dude, rune? birds. That oh. To see something so magnificent reduced to this. Or all the human suffering with Silides. <laughs> it's Rovere's mansion. Rovere Rover. is the, the lord of this region. Huh. I've heard that name before. That's right. He and his entire family were executed, weren't they? Let's go in. Dude, the cinematography, the hold on the shot, the care. The it's light. actually it's actually not bad. No, it isn't. I'm not like being some, facetious. Some PS2 games, um, it was obvious that the whoever was directing the cinematography had never heard of cinematography. <laughs> uh huh. And it's just like the camera's like like swinging around wildly for no goddamn reason. <laughs> Hideki Kamiya is one of those directors. <laughs> Nani. Leon, it's gooses, please. There. there was a deep forest. We were just kids the last time we were here, so we wanted to go explore it, of course. But just as the prince and I were about to set out, 
His attendant stopped us. Farad yelled at us later, remember? You're they beat me savagely. You, he told us. <laughs> and they slapped the prince on the wrist. Sounds like Farad. Lord Rovere said the same thing and laughed. What in the world could have happened here? Unfortunately, this town has indeed felt Arstadt's wrath. What's that about? I'm just gonna gawk at these people. <laughs> they seem to be panicked about something. Let's go check it out. Um, I remember like the beginning of this game feeling really boring the first time. Um, but I, I think because we didn't know the context of anything. Well, all of this shit pays off. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Is like when I re played this game in uh, late 2014, like the winter of 2014 and over New Ooh. Year's 2015. Go get that treasure chest. Trying to. Uh, sacrificial Jesu. It's uh, like a sa sacrificial Buddha from the first game? Or yeah. 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 Uh, but when I was replaying it, it was I, I actually really enjoyed the intro. Even though it is slow and you don't have a ton of control. Uh, like like as it keeps going like just building this world this world and fleshing it out and making you care about all the like regions and politics or like maybe 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 not making you care but like giving you a lot of understanding right so the thing is is this isn't just like a bunch of extraneous detail all of this is important at some point and but you know playing it for the first time you just don't know it and this is a completely new team for the Suicoden series mm -hmm. like these people never worked yeah, on like no Juko no no yeah yeah uh yeah Yoshitaka Mur Murayama like they were all gone this is a completely brand new team but they get it but yeah. like you didn't know it at the time and so it's like what is all this extraneous detail but it, it's not it's so good look I'm going and I said no I said no gosh gosh Deutsch. What's going on? Deutsch. I need to be punished. <laughs> Is something wrong? Hurt me more, Snake. <laughs> Keep moving, guys. It's not your problem. Goish. Punish him, not <laughs> punish me, not him. <laughs> it's one of the children. He left for the forest watering hole and hasn't come back. Oh, it's all my fault. <laughs> I was busy combing my goatee and not watching the kids. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> Take this. Uh, there are beasts out there. We told him to stay away, but he just wouldn't listen. Hey, it's not the kid's fault. He was just looking for a little clean water. His friends needed it. I'm going to go for him. Don't try stopping me, Chiggle. <laughs> I said no Have you seen those beasts these days They'll devour you They're not You're not going So What are you saying you Just leave Toma Out there to die That's not what I'm saying I'm saying let him eat Being eaten by the beasts <laughs> And we'd like film it Put it on YouTube Fail army <laughs> and then the town is famous and we get rich <laughs> could you wait here prince I want to go look for the boy you <laughs> okay uh, yeah let's not be a dick uh, well, I don't I, know which one is though because it's like uh. I can't let you do that well, no I can't let you go alone Is I can't no I, you're, I can't I'm gonna, let you do that is like no, no, you're not leaving me in this place. No, I think I can't let you do that. Is that I will go with you. I can't let you go alone. I don't know. Come, that's it. Come on. I can't let you do that. I mean, I don't interpret it that way. Huh, but what about the boy? He's right, Leon. He was supposed to be his bodyguard after all. Yeah, oh, see? shit. Well, fuck. He's Wait. such a dick. Game over. <laughs> oh, well, what a short let's play. Where he goes, you go. So come on, Carrie, let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> that seemed really... Just a moment. 
We can't let you do this. <laughs> it would be too... Yeah. This has nothing to do with you guys. So if you'll excuse me. Excuse me? Does it really matter who saved the child from certain death? Trust me, we can handle this. We do this sort of thing for a living. Very well, then. Telco, what are you? Good luck, and thank you. You want a little, like, a spanking for the road? <laughs> just, to, just to punish me a little? <laughs> bah. <laughs> Gosh, you wanna <laughs> you wanna tap me on the fanny, buddy? <laughs> Just a little bit of punishing. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> hey, um, before we head into the forest, how about we uh, sign off for this? Uh, let's Joe, play. you just see the forest for the trees, man. For the for the trees, man. Trees, man. All right, all right. Well, this is an exciting new journey for us. These will be going up on Saturdays over the next coming months. We hope that you subscribe to Carriage Way for Suicon 5 action and any other sorts of videos that are going up in the meantime. It's, we don't know. We don't know what's going to be happening. Okay. So. And uh, Jacob's just about to fly back to India. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Ready? <sighs> Holy shit. Right to the ceiling. Dude, could you not have stepped outside before doing that? I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>